Hello. 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 Hi and good morning, plane spotters and aviation lovers. I'm Star Plane Spotter and I just arrived at my destination by flying an Airbus A320 Neo with SES Connect. The flight was okay, but here I am at Copenhagen Kastrup Airport, the largest airport in Scandinavia. I'm heading for my next flight, which is a special one. Let me tell you about the booking. It cost me $50.10, which is 347 Danish Krona and 90 UA. The route is between Copenhagen to Stockholm. The aircraft will be an Airbus A350. Now you might be wondering, how come an Airbus A350 fly a one hour flight in this route? The answer is crew training. Some pilots at SES are moving on to the Air 350. After flying the simulator, they have to learn to fly the aircraft in real life. They are also doing this with passengers. Every Friday, they will do this crew training until the beginning of February 2024. And this flight is the first flight from Copenhagen to Stockholm in Airbus A350 with passengers. And here's my gate, B5. It's almost like 1 hour and 15 minutes left until it's time for boarding. So let's take a look at the restroom of Copenhagen's International Airport before boarding. I'm very surprised because the restroom of the airport is very clean. I'm also surprised that the restroom has a window that you can see outside. And now I'm going to the store to buy a Coke. It's time for boarding. Our aircraft is on the other side, so we have to go by a bus. The registration of the aircraft is SARSF, which is two years old and is named as Yalmar Viking. My seat is 42A. The legroom is amazing for my height. The seat pocket surprised me because compared to an Airbus A320 and Boeing 737, it's very big. And that's a good thing for long haul flights. The tray table can be half or fully opened. There's an air sickness bag, safety card, and Wi-Fi instructions. 
The reason why there is no onboard menu is because the aircraft flies to long haul flights and the passengers will get free food. No reason to have a menu. Here's a USB port and audio port. The in-flight entertainment screen is big enough and you can move it. Up here is reading lights only. If you want to call the flight attendants, you have to do it from the screen. It seems like under the seats there's no power outlets. And that's a very bad thing for somebody who has a laptop and needs to charge the battery. On the right side of the seat in front of me, there's one small coat hook. My seat is very comfortable. It also has a headrest which is adjustable and you can move the sides. In the setting, we see the help me or look at him. Thanks, Kay. Hey. When you have, can see that. The and here's my view for one hour. Let's enjoy the flight. Should you sleep during the flight, make sure to keep your seatbelt outside your blanket so that the cabin crew will not need to disturb you in case of unexpected turbulence. Towards you to open the oxygen supply. To release the oxygen, you will have to pull quite hard. Place the mask over your nose and mouth as quickly as you can. Items heavier than one kilo, for example a laptop, must be safely stowed away in your cabin baggage for takeoff and landing. Opening the doors will automatically inflate the evacuation slides. Jump onto the slides and move away from the aircraft. Cabin crew, take your seat. Alright, let's see what the in-flight entertainment screen has to offer us. Somehow the map doesn't work. There's a good collection of movies. Before watching a movie, an ad pops up. From the screen, you can also control your reading light.
And here you can call the flight crew. And here's the information of the flight. If you want to control the settings, you can. The brightness, volume, etc. If you don't want to use the in-flight entertainment screen, you can just turn it off. The flight crew and I had a good talk, they allowed me to take a look at the business class, but in today's flight nobody is sitting here, because the airline doesn't sell business class tickets if the flight is city to city in Europe. When I came back to my seat, I heard there was a service going on, but passengers only got tea and coffee, nothing special. After having fun in the skies, it's time to go back down to the ground. Before landing, I forgot there's more to see in the in-flight entertainment screen. One amazing feature is that the aircraft has an outside camera at the tail. But let's enjoy the landing.
Back to Sweden with no problem and we are waiting for a clearance to park at the gate. Not quite at the gate yet, so please remain seated with your seatbelts fast. I just noticed there's an outside camera behind the nose gear. Too bad I couldn't see the touchdown. Goodbye. Hello boys. Hey. Hi. 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 It was a great flight and great landing too. Have you ever been to the 350 cockpit What? Have you ever been to the 350 cockpit before? No, this is first time. Yeah. And it looks amazing. Do you usually take pictures in Copenhagen or? I live in Sweden. Oh yeah. I flew the Airbus A320 to come here yeah. to Copenhagen and fly this aircraft. It's okay. not every year you fly from Copenhagen to Stockholm with A350. Excellent. Do you know the nickname of this aircraft? No. no. Raccoon. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Airbus A330, the nickname of that aircraft is Butter Machine because it's every time the aircraft lands, it always makes butter. Oh, yeah. The landing is always but butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny nicknames. Rocky, yeah. So how long have you been flying the Airbus A350? Since uh, 2020. Twenty. Mm, nice. Uh, I also heard that the first ever A350 in SES have retired. Well, it's not retired, it's a changed uh, owner. Oh yeah, yeah, like uh, of course. Malaysia. Uh, with, uh, Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, You're not flying back with us uh, this afternoon? No, uh, but my friend will, my friend. Okay. He's uh, okay. also... At, uh, Hmm. But goodbye. Okay, for Thank you so much. You're welcome. Goodbye. I'm satisfied. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. As I said before, every Friday, SES is offering A350 flights from Copenhagen to Stockholm until the beginning of February next year. If you are interested, go book your flight with the Raccoon before it's too late. Your last chance is February the 2nd, 2024. If you already booked the flight with the Airbus A350, I wish you good luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Good day and bye.
four A. Four A. Forty two A. Oh forty two, sorry. <laughs> yeah. okay.